Uh, my name is Brad Causey. Um, what gym I represent is Pride Gym from uh, Trail, British Columbia. I'm Brian Grimshaw. I train out of the Revolution Fight Team in Chilliwack, DC. Um, I'm Greg. Uh, I live in Chilliwack. Uh, I fight at a, a garage. Uh, my name is Carl Krolak. I'm from Kelowna, BC. All right. My name is Landon Kinney. I train at World Extreme Fighting and Team Akai. Mostly the blood and, and choking guys out. I just wanted to see if I could uh, do it. And I uh, started training and Glenn came up to me one day and asked me if I wanted to fight. And I thought, uh, what better way to see if I got the balls to step in the ring. And so I did it and just to see if I actually you know, had the guts to go through it. And I've been loving it ever since. I like the thrill that you get after the fight. And that's what drives me to train again and again. So that's why I keep doing it. I, I'm doing it for the cash straight up. <laughs> And for the love of the sport, don't forget. Well, it's a, almost a full-time job, or pretty damn close. I'm in the gym probably four hours a day at least. I go to the, I do my gym stuff. I go do my jiu-jitsu. I do my muay thai. Then I'm running and stuff like that. So after it's all said and done, six days out of the week, three and a half, four hours a day. Yeah, it's uh, two months of hard conditioning. Three, at least three days a week. Uh, I did privates, which boosted up to about four. Um, lots of cardio, lots of uh, getting your ass kicked with boxing gloves. Every day is a training day for, uh, leading up to a fight every day. And I, basically what I'm trying to do is just program my brain. A lot of guys at the pub, they think they can do it. Uh, but if they're not programmed like a computer, then they're not going to be doing nothing when they get out there. It's not a joke, you know, you can go in there and talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? You got to go, if you can go and last a class, I'd be... Very, very surprised if you can just walk in off the street and think you're tough shit. MMA is an interesting sport and it takes a lot of athleticism. People in the bars, they can't do this. This takes dedicated training for years. Uh, we suffer injuries all the time. I was doing some wrestling moves with the guy, getting ready, uh, slammed him, took a fracture to the eye socket. This isn't putting me out of training. This means I have an extra challenge to work with while I'm training. So, lots of injuries, lots of training. A lot of drilling. For the training part, you just want to make sure your lungs are good and your muscles are sharp and quick. To get ready for a fight, you got to pretty much put away everything. Focus everything on the fight, train your bag off, work till you puke, like you said, and give it all you got. Like, you pretty much have to avoid the rest of your life and uh, really focus on fighting and make sure you're ready to go. Have heart and, like I said, fight right through it and do good. What did I get myself into? And then I remembered I got myself into a fight. So uh, yeah, now it's I just I need the money really badly. So I better you know I better uh, go and perform good. Uh, not a lot to be honest with you. I just I was thinking about all kinds of stuff. Really, nothing almost to do with the fight, which is really weird. The biggest problem with fighters, especially new fighters, is nerves. Uh, you'll even hear UFC veterans talk about nerves. It happens all the time. Uh, what I try to do for the new fighters is let them know that this is natural. You're going to feel nervous the whole day, the week before the fight. Uh, what I try to do is run through their game plans with them. Something that I've been working with them on for weeks. Uh, get the sweat flowing a bit. By that time, the nerves seem to have ebbed. I have helped them prep for the first minute or so of the fight. I find that that's probably the hardest part of the fight. Get in there, especially if it's your first fight. You don't know what to expect, and usually it's leather is flying. It's a lot rougher than people anticipate. It's a lot faster than people anticipate. So during training, I try to imitate that fast and furious beginning of a fight when I'm sparring with my sparring partners, and I remind them before the fight, this is what's going to happen. Get your mind in that state of mind. So you get pretty much forced to work harder when you don't want to do it than when you really do want to do it. And if you don't do it when you don't want to, you're going to get your ass kicked when you get in the ring. Where do we fight? I don't even know what our club is called. Like, what is, seriously, what's our club called? So did I start that? Yeah, we started. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, first interview.